So the cool thing about summer vacation is that I can pretty much sleep in to whenever I want. Don't We don't have to get up early in the morning to get our boys up and ready to school on time. The shitty thing about summer vacation is right around 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon, this house turns into a freaking insane asylum. So I'm going nuts, and I have been looking forward all day long to hanging out with you today on my live 420 report video blog. Thanks for being here. Hey, Sarah, what's up? Steve, Emily with two e, with three E's, Ashton, Derek, Skylar, what's up, guys? Uh, shout out to the Eagles Club last Friday night, Iowa City, Iowa, Eagles Club number 695, Mark and John and everybody up there for bringing us in. The Dirty Jokes and Magic Trick Show, we threw down three hours. There was a 20-minute intermission in there in the middle, of course, as always, to give people a chance to go out and have a smoke, get some more drinks. But what a great night that was, man. We actually got a triple standing ovation. I'm working on some more video clips to put up here, some more highlights from that. And then this Friday night, the Dirty Jokes and Magic Trick Show returns to our home state of Iowa for a show at Birdie's Burgers and Brews located inside the Hillcrest Country Club in Grettinger, Iowa. Contact Barry Bonner for tickets on that. They're doing a very special VIP package. You're going to want to get all the information, which, of course, I'll put in the video description above, like I usually do when I do these live videos every day. Hey, thanks for being here, man. Stick around. Uh, today, it's a little bit different live video than what I usually do. Normally, I'm going to throw down my comedy philosophy and tell you some crazy stories that happened when I was out on the road doing shows all over the country. But this last weekend, I just did the one show. We just had the one Friday night show. We had them packed out. Iowa City, Iowa. Thank you guys very much for being there. Steve says, what's up? It's going to be a great night at the Hillcrest this Friday. I will have a shot waiting for you. Oh, thanks, man. Looking forward to it. Our show is sponsored by fireball whiskey uh and i could you know fireball i like to say fireball whiskey is like titties one's not enough but three's too many hey trisha what's up today i've got to show you guys oh, of course you can get my cd for free at barcomic.com today i've got to show you guys a tasty farmer's market find that i came up with well, this is my big story from this last weekend i only did the one show it was off the hook it was so much fun thanks again for that but check this out we've got dorito flavored fiesta roasted crickets and i actually had some of these on my salad the other night but these taste just like doritos i swear to god um i don't know if anybody else has ever out there ate crickets before but supposedly they're like 60 percent protein it's some supposed to be like some super high crazy superfood I'm hoping it'll give me superpowers. Anybody out there ever ate crickets, ever ate bugs? Anybody want to stick around and watch me do it? I think I, I think I can probably get through this whole bag by the end of the video. You know, it's all you have to do, you just have to get over that thing in your mind that tells you that you're eating bugs. And you just have to remember that what it really tastes like. And these taste just like Doritos, if I can get some out of my hand, they're going to spill out all over the place. And I don't want to waste a single one of them. Hey, Marjo, what's up? Marjo, uh, get this. I'm coming to your neck of the woods. Sioux Falls in August, August 18th. I will get the information at, at Boss's Comedy Club. So spread the word there. Hey, Jamie, what's up? Um, I'm not sure if I'll be in New York anytime soon or not. Alan is here. Good to see you guys. This weekend, I'll be taking Nathan Tricky Allen with me, the a.k.a. Nathan Co – there we go – a.k.a. Nathan Copperfield, a.k.a. the Maniac of Magic, to Birdie's Burgers and Brews in Grettinger, Iowa, for a special – return appearance of comedy night, summertime special show. Usually they just do the grassroots comedy tour um, the first Friday of the month, I think it is. But this time they're going to bring in a special summertime event. Three hours, rated R, comedy and magic. Paul, you've been to that one. Good to see you here, man. All right, here we go. If I can get a good shot. Of, oh, shit, I'm dropping them on my keyboard. Dorito flavored crickets. 
And in honor of the Dirty Jokes Magic Trick Show, I will now make them disappear. They're not really that bad. They're really not. They're just... <laughs> It's kind of hard to talk, but they basically just taste like Dorito crumbs. You just have to get over that thing in your head that you're eating bugs, you know? Crickets, grasshoppers, and ants. Yum, yum. They're a bit hard to swallow. Hey, Roy, what's up? Oh, man. I need some water now. <laughs> They're not too terribly bad, but they are a bit difficult to chew and talk at the same time. And then I want to start laughing, and then that makes me want to choke. And then I just envision myself spitting all this shit out at the computer screen. And then that makes me want to laugh even more, which makes me have to hold back the choking even more. Paul says, hey, man, I would try. Yeah, I figured you probably would, dude. You're a crazy fucker just like me. You know, you've been all over this country. You've probably seen even crazier shit than dudes eating bugs on a live video. You, you yourself are probably eating some crazy shit in your lifetime from the stories that I've heard. We were hanging out. What was it we were hanging out? Kansas. That's right, man. I can't remember the name of the town now. It's such a small town, but it was like right outside of it's the other place that had like the world's largest Easter egg or something like that. All right, I'm going to finish this bag off. I was just going to put them on my chicken salad tonight, but I haven't eaten yet today except for an apple, I guess. I did have an apple, and I did have a cup of coffee earlier. But it is 4.20 p.m., and I got a little bit of the munchies going, if you know what I mean. So here we go, man. Here's some more Dorito-flavored crickets. I'm just going to polish off the rest of this bag. Remember to go to my website, barcomic.com. I don't know if I'm doing this right or not. I don't know, man. I, there we go. There's a nice good look. Dorito-flavored cricket crumbs. Oh, that was a head. <laughs> I got Wilton, Kansas. That's right, Paul. You told me all about your adventures traveling the country, man. You've probably been in some situations before where you had to throw down something that was... You know, quite frankly, half the shit that they serve at these convenience stores is way nastier than Dorito-flavored crickets. I mean, you roll in and they have that Velveeta nacho cheese. Like, people will go to the movie theaters. They'll go to the convenience store. They'll buy that fucking Velveeta cheese shell macaroni. That stuff's basically a derivative of plastic. I actually saw a documentary. I don't remember where I saw this. YouTube, maybe? Anyway, my son was watching. He was like five years old at the time. And it wasn't like an expose or a conspiracy-type documentary. It was literally... One of these uh, educational films, like what they would show on Sesame Street or Mr. Rogers back in the day. And it was like, hey, visit to the hot dog factory, right? The stuff that they put in hot dogs is way fucking grosser, in my opinion, than Dorito-flavored cr roasted crickets. Are you kidding me? They're, like, they literally put plastic in the hot dogs. That was one, now I'm burping up crickets. That was one of the ingredients they put in. And even my five-year-old son at that time was like, what? That can't be right. Even he was freaking out when he saw the little educational film about how they make hot dogs, a trip to the hot dog factory. What well, now we got to put in the plastic. And my kids started freaking out, man. But people roll around. They'll eat hot dogs all day long, left and right, especially coming up now. It's the 4th of July. I guarantee you you're going to be out there grilling out some shit that's way nastier when you think about it than Fiesta roasted Dorito-flavored crickets. And probably with way less protein, probably way less healthier. You know, fucking Velveeta cheese, are you kidding me? That shit's a derivative of plastic. How are people 
shoveling that down their pie holes left and right. How is that company still even in business? Fucking Velveeta? Velveeta? Why not do this? Why not just get like one of those plastic stadium cups and just melt one of those fuckers all over your corn chips and then eat that? It's basically the same thing as that garbage that they pour out of the machines at the convenience store or the movie theaters. Are you kidding me? Half the crap that we're shoveling down our gullets isn't even really food. It's some bullshit, artificially sweetened, artificially... Artif what is it? Uh, my kid actually pointed out to me today on the breakfast cereal that he has, it said that it was uh, naturally flavored with artificial ingredients or something along those lines. Anyway, anyway... I'm trying to think, I'm trying to say funny shit, I'm trying to pick cricket legs out of my teeth with my tongue all at the same time. But Moritz is here, Kevin's here, man. Tom, good to see you, buddy. Tom from the Eagles Club in Albia. We just rocked him in Iowa City last week. You got to see the video of that, packed him in, got a standing ovation. Paul says frog legs are awesome. They really do taste like chicken. That is true. I only had frog legs once in my whole life. I was playing this club down in southern illinois i don't remember exactly where i was but i remember that i was with josh alton one of my original road dogs one of the original founding members of the grassroots comedy tour my co-star in the movie american smart ass and we pulled over to this late night cafe and they were serving up frog legs i'm like well shit we gotta get them man we gotta get them you know and i expected them to be like you know like deep fried and you know maybe look like more like a chicken leg but they were still attached to the frog's ass and everything. It was like the, both of the legs attached together. It was basically like they just chopped the bottom part of the frog off, fried that up. I think I could have eaten it if they at least would have attached it. As soon as I started to think that I'm now eating a frog's ass, that's when it became disgusting to me. That's when it, like, it no longer tasted like chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just could not get over the visual impact of a deep fried frog's ass staring at me from this basket at the late side, late night roadside diner in Southern Illinois. So now I have zero interest in ever eating frog legs ever again. Hey Cole, what's up? How's it hanging? To the left, brother, to the left. Uh, come see us this Friday night, Grettinger, Iowa, Birdies, Burgers, and Brews, located inside the Hillcrest Country Club. Nathan Tricky Allen and myself, a.k.a. Nathan Copperfield and Jeremy Seinfeld, teaming up in the Dirty Jokes and Magic Trick Show. They have a special VIP package. You want to take a look at that. If you're going to be in the area, get your tickets soon. I'll also be in Afton, Wisconsin this Saturday night. Any of my southern Wisconsin friends, you weren't able to come see me last Thursday at Schultz compound they canceled the pool party but you can come see me this saturday night afton wisconsin at the table bar and grill and i'll put all the information for the shows in the video description above go to my website barcomic.com get a free copy of my cd totally baked and if you guys are interested in getting your very own supply of fiesta roasted crickets i highly recommend heading over to jim and eat Jim and Eat Cricket. I like that. Jim and Eat Crickets. Jim and Eat Crickets. Local business. Give them your love. There's all the information right there. I'm a big supporter of local businesses. I don't think that's something we talk about enough on Facebook. I think people get too hung up in their political arguments and their bullshit back and forth trying to prove each other wrong trying to prove how smart they are their fucking virtue signaling look what a good person i am because i support this cause i'm for this i'm against that blah 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 there's three things we can all do to make the world a better place number one always have a sense of humor number two support your local businesses number three party your ass off get shit faced as much as possible like you can with me this friday night birdies burgers and brews grandeur iowa for the dirty jokes and maddie trick show saturday night after wisconsin at the table bar and grill i'll be throwing down my 90 minute one man show and even if you don't want to ingest alcohol or smoke weed or do any of that kind of stupid shit getting crazy like that just whatever it is your version of partying it 
whatever that is, whatever makes you happy. But go out, support your local businesses, and hang out with some friends, share some laughs, and blow off steam. And thank you for being here every day with me on these live videos. I'll be back tomorrow with more 420 report, 420 p.m., or as close as possible. No crickets, unfortunately. So if you want to see me eating crickets again, you're going to have to go back and watch the replay, which I'll also post on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, hit me up with the subscribe button. Uh, that's it. 420 p.m. tomorrow or as close as possible. See you later. God bless America.